Hi, today we are going to learn how to compute for paired sample t-test using JASP, J-A-S-P. This is a free program which you can use for your statistical analysis. So what we have here is in the context of a before and after scenario. This is in the context of before a reading program and after the reading program. So this is easy. So what we're going to choose here is for t-test. Your teacher might be asking you to have a paired sample t-test. They also termed it as dependent sample t-test or a before and after test. So what you're going to test here is this one. You're going to click this, a paired samples t-test. So as you can see, this is already an APA format. So what you're going to do now is click on before, then click on after. And immediately, you can see here, there is already a result. So it says here that there is 0 0.001, which means that your actual error, if you reject the null, is 0 0.001. So if ever you have a hypothesis, which says that there is no significant difference between the before and after scores of the students after the reading program, then you have to reject that because you will commit 0 0.001 error only if you reject the null because there is a significant difference between the before and after scores of the students. So what we can see here, we can also click as the descriptives. So the mean of the before is 10 and then the mean of the after is 11.1. .1. So we can see here that there is an increase in mean. And this answers if there is a significant difference between these two. It might not be that big if we can see only the mean, but statistical significance test tells us that there is a significant difference between the two. So how about this? The One of the assumptions of t-test is normality. So what we can see here is that for the assumption check, it's 0.04. So there is a problem of a normality here. It says that uh, according to Shapiro-Wilk test, there is a significant difference of your data from a normal distribution. Therefore, your data is not normally distributed. But since we also have a non-parametric equivalent here, so we can also click Wilcoxon signed rank test. So if a non-parametric equivalent is available, then that would save us from this normality. If we don't know how to normalize a data, or we simply just don't want to go over the process of normalization, then we can interpret Wilcoxon signed rank test. So what it does is actually it ranks the cases automatically by itself, and then do a process or computation, and then it gives us the p-value. Whereas the p-value here also states that there is a significant difference between our before and after scenario. So this is already in APA format. So all you have to do now is copy this and paste. And then you're ready to go. So hope you learned something. And then, uh, please, uh, if you have questions, you can post them down below in the comment section. Thank you and more power.